kind of older, like only the school. We're at the Costco Business Center. We came to get Mexican food and margaritas. Today is Friday. I did vlog a little bit yesterday, but it was basically just me getting ready for the day and then going to Chick-fil-A. And I didn't do anything. Well, that's why I came home and edited a video, but that's boring. Y'all don't want to see me sitting in bed editing. But now it's Friday. It's party time. Well, not really, not yet. My boyfriend only has one class today, so I'm gonna go with him, which I feel like is gonna be kind of weird, like going to school, even though I'm not in school anymore, you know? But anyways, I'm gonna go with him and finish editing that video that I told you all about and upload it because my school has super fast. Can you just not? Just stay. Because my school has super fast Wi-Fi, usually. So I want to just finish editing it over there and then upload it at school so that it'll be up in like five minutes. And then we're going to go to my Nana's after to visit her. I also have some Christmas presents that I want to drop off but they're not even done. Backstory, I obviously got sick right before Christmas. I don't know if I've mentioned that on this channel or not, but on my Green Mama channel, I talked about in Vlogmas how I got sick literally the week before Christmas, and it was so fucking frustrating. Like, I got really sick. I had the flu or something, and I could not do anything and i had a bunch of crochet projects that i wanted to do or finish for christmas like some beanies you know for some cousins and i ended up not getting those done in time but i finally finished them and i have some cousins going over to my grandparents this weekend to have a sleepover and stuff so i'm gonna bring those over so that they can open them when they're at my nose they're not done though i still have to finish one more and wrap them but i could always wrap them at my nana's house because she has like wrapping paper and all that stuff obviously i just don't really okay you guys are going in the tray you're sitting in the tray hopefully the audio doesn't sound weird but what was i gonna say i just don't know when i'm gonna finish the last beanie because like i said i'm gonna go to school to upload the video and finish editing it and i don't know how long that's gonna take i'm sure it'll all work out i'm just doing some light easy makeup today i'm gonna do the exact same makeup that i did yesterday because i don't know if i'm gonna do anything with that footage from yesterday i'm using the maybelline express brow eyebrow pencil this was my my favorite one sorry if i'm kind of cut off i think i need to get like a tripod for my desk i mean i really need my dad to just put my mirror like actually on my wall because it can get like nailed to the wall you know because it's kind of low like before i kind of had stuff stacked on top of each other and then you guys would sit on that i have read four nights in a row now i'm so proud of myself tonight will be the fifth night in a row that i've read i've been reading just a chapter every night of harry potter and the goblet of fire and it's been going so good i decided that i need to start trying to read at least one chapter like every night because i've been reading that book for over a year now <laughs> and it's still not finished i'm super close though i counted last night and i only have eight chapters left gosh it's kind of hard for me to do my eyebrows when my mirror is now so far away from me hopefully those look okay crap i didn't put contacts in Ugh. And I already did all my skincare. All right, let me wash my hands so I can put my contacts in. I always forget to do that. Uh, take my prescription settings soon. I have to go to the eye doctor. Ugh, hate going to the eye doctor. Especially because every time I go, my prescriptions are exactly the same. Nothing changes. I think I would know. I like how I just put eye cream on and now it's just washing off. <laughs> Time for face. So I'm not gonna wear that much makeup today. I just want it to be quick and easy. Using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. When I first got this, I really liked it, but now I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like a little just goes way too much. Like, I barely put any on and it's taking so much to blend it out. Also, I didn't wet my beauty blender today. It's still kind of damp from yesterday. And I probably should have wet it today. It's not that damp. <laughs> like, I barely put any on it. It's just going so far. I don't think I like this concealer. I think I fooled myself. It's just a little too much. 
Like, why is it blending all the way up here? I barely put any on. Now I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour in Light Medium. I actually do really like this because I like that it has like the little spongy on top and it just goes on so easily. It's data all over my face. I got my freaking makeup thing that has all my makeup on it. <laughs> like the swivelly thing right here that I got from Amazon, it keeps getting caught on my freaking lava lamp cords that are on my shelves and it's pissing me off. I think I need to get rid of the lava lamps too. I don't think I've lit my lava lamps in probably over a year. And I just don't think they're fitting in with the new aesthetic anymore. I could put them downstairs in the basement where it's kind of like the cool smoking bar area, you know? I'll do that. My dad will enjoy them. Oh my god, why is it getting so hot? Ugh. I'm starting to feel the female rage. Things just need to go easy for me today. Come on. This is also the e.l.f. Halo Glow blush in Rosa Usla. Don't know how I feel about this blush, honestly. It's cute, but I feel like it's kind of hard to blend. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I do like that it's glowy though. Like it kind of reminds me of a blush and a highlighter in one. I'm gonna set my concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder Classic. And then I also got this for Christmas one of the Real Techniques like powder sponges and I actually really like this more than like a regular powder puff. I feel like it just goes on really smooth. And then I'll take a big brush and just lightly kind of go over everything. Wipe away the excess. Very simple. And then I'm going to use the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. I really like this one but I want to try the matte one to see if I like it more. And then I'm gonna use the e.l.f. brow wand. This is like $5 at Target. I do like it, but I want to try the NYX one. Oh, I just gotta do my mascara. And I'm using the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara, the waterproof one. If you have straight as fuck eyelashes that do not like to stay up, I highly recommend getting a waterproof mascara and learning how to curl your eyelashes properly. I don't know how to explain it. I saw a video on Reels like at the beginning of last year on how to like properly curl your eyelashes and it completely changed my life. Like, do y'all see how up those are? And they're not gonna fall down either. They're gonna stay up. And of course, the bottom lashes. I don't know how some people say they can't do mascara on their bottom lashes because I have to do it. I feel like it just pulls everything together, you know? Oh, all right, those look good. I need to get dressed and do my hair now. So what time is it? I have no idea. Oh. There's no way. It's only 9-11. It just took me 10 minutes to do my makeup. What the fuck? I'm speedy. I'm so shook. I seriously thought it was going to be like 9.30. It's the weather supposed to be like today. Ooh, it was raining this morning, but it's not anymore. So I can wear my Uggs. Since it's not raining also, I think I want to straighten my hair. I was going to straighten my hair yesterday and then ended up just putting it in a ponytail. And I think now it's time to straighten. I just remembered something I forgot to do. I forgot to put on sunscreen. I was looking at my face and I was like, why does it just not look that glowy? <laughs> it's because I forgot my sunscreen. Darn it. I knew that was going to happen. I feel like I always forget to do something when I'm filming and trying to get ready. There's too many things going on. I'm just going to watch The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City while I straighten my hair really quick. I'm on season two, episode 14. Let's do it. So I'm really coming from a real... You're not coming for no reason. I don't have it because you're Jenny's friend. All right. There we go. I'm going to get dressed now and I don't know what I want to wear. I was going to wear jeans because I'm going out somewhere, but it's Friday, so I kind of want to be cozy. Alright, I'm gonna get dressed then I'll give y'all an OTD. Gotta accessorize, of course. I'm wearing my Juicy Couture gold heart earrings in the matching necklace. I also got the bracelet, so I have the whole set now. So cute. I don't know about y'all, but I got my ears pierced when I was like nine months old. And I thank my mom every day for doing that. <laughs> I know some people think that's like cruel or whatever, but I'm honestly probably gonna do the same shit with my kids. If I have girls, at least, you know? Because I've just always loved the fact that my ears have been pierced like my whole entire life like literally my whole life i don't remember them getting pierced at all or having to deal with the healing process i've just always had holes in my ears and i 
love it <laughs> especially because i knew people when i was in high school who still didn't have their ears pierced and they were like scared to do it which i get piercings can be scary but i mean if your mom just did it when you were a baby then you would have never had to deal with it <laughs> i don't know i know it's kind of controversial to pierce your kids ears for some reason but i don't give a fuck i'm grateful for it every day <laughs> so cute okay let me give y'all a full otd wearing some flare yoga pants from paxson and my uggs of course this shopaholic top from hose Rick clothes on instagram that's like my favorite clothing store right now and i'm also wearing my black velour cheesy couture top and i do wish that it matched but that's just not happening of course the juicy couture bag i might actually wear it this way today yeah and i was watching the girls next door earlier and i'm like 99 percent sure that holly madison used to have this exact same bag i'm not 100 sure because when she was wearing it it was like this i couldn't see this side but the ribbon was the same this was all the same everything i was like holly do we got the same bag because if we do i'm gonna die i seriously love her <laughs> and then i'm also gonna use my juicy couture perfume i love this one it smells so good it makes me feel fancy all right now i'm gonna rinse out my piece and drink it <laughs> before i I leave possibly eat something i don't know though i do not have an appetite we're at the costco business center because my boyfriend has to pick something up really quick oh my gosh i do not know why or what the heck is wrong with me but i am so freaking tired i know i took a little hit earlier before i left the house but i just feel like i shouldn't be as tired as i am but I got some stuff in the mail that I want to show you guys. I'm also wearing my robe because it's so freaking cold in here. So I actually got this yesterday and I posted on my Instagram story. But I got some Lisa Frank stickers. Like a little booklet of them. Over 1,200 stickers. And this just makes me feel so nostalgic. Oh my gosh. They're literally so cute. I got it off of Amazon. And I'm so excited to use these. I'm going to use them to decorate my journal. And use on the inside and everything like that. And then this is the journal that I ended up getting. And this is literally how it got delivered like the shipping label is on the back right here it just was sitting on my doorstep like this so i'm really happy it didn't come damaged or anything like that but if i do stick with journaling i don't think i'm gonna order this one again because i feel like this is just too risky like why is it not in a bubble mail or anything so let's open it up together it is definitely a little dented like on the spine right there and down here and stuff but it'll do this is the paper age journal from amazon i got it in the color i don't know pink obviously this is the dotted notebook but they also have like line plain i think graphed also but i thought that dotted would be the best Ooh, this looks really nice obviously has a little thing to keep it closed right here which i like and then i noticed in the back right here that there's this little pocket Ooh. And there's stickers in here. Oh my gosh. Like lined stickers. You guys see that? I'm going to take one of these longer ones and write like my name and the date and put it on the spine so I can remember when I started this journal. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. I love how there's a pocket back there so I can put like stickers back there and stuff, you know? That's so fun. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to start this. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice, but there's also a bookmark ribbon in there. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I also got one other thing which i've honestly been forgetting about these because i've just been so excited to get my journal but these might be more exciting i got some new pens oh my gosh these are the stadler 20 tri plus fine liner pens 0.3 millimeters and there's obviously a great amount of colors i'll link all this stuff on my amazon storefront or something like that but i'm so excited to use these and to decorate my journal and start using it i do want to decorate it but i'm honestly so fucking tired i need to take a nap or something so that i can be in a better clear mind space when i decide to start on that so I'm gonna take a little nap. We need to go to the dispo anyways later. So I'm gonna take a nap before we do that. We should have done that earlier when we were out and about, but we completely forgot. We came home and my boyfriend was like, oh, I know what we forgot. And I was like, fuck, I do too. <laughs> so now we have to go there later. I'm gonna watch The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City though while I take my nap. We came to get Mexican food and margaritas. I'm be logging this house, so I can remember. Oh yeah, I'm be logging. Ooh, look at my mommy's plate. Happy dance. <laughs> Yay. Mm. Happy to spend. Just so good. We got the goods and it's fucking cold. 
<laughs> I'm sick of this Washington weather. Back at home after our Mexican food and margaritas. And going to the dispo. I've been trying to wind up a ball of yarn for like the past hour on like my yarn winding machine right here. I got super tangled earlier. It literally took me an hour to freaking untangle and wind back up. That was really annoying. But anyways, back at home now. So I'm finally gonna decorate my journal. I was honestly thinking about holding off and waiting until tomorrow when I'm more like awake and not uh, sleepy. But I was like, no. I've been waiting too long to do this. I need to just do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna decorate it with my Lisa Frank stickers that I got. Kind of do just like crazy stickers all over the place. And then I also have these U Dub stickers that my dad got me for Christmas. I think I'm gonna put this one on there and then I'm gonna save these ones for maybe the inside somewhere. I don't know. I'm bummed though because this one got some fuzzies on it somehow on the bottom. So I don't know if that's gonna stick that well, but I'm gonna use this one for now. And I'm also watching the Girls Next Level podcast on their Patreon, like their slumber party episodes, like the video version. So that's what I'm watching right now. I did subscribe to the Girls Next Level Patreon because I completed it on Spotify and I was like, what am I going to do now? Oh, they have a Spotify. So, not a Spotify, a Patreon. <laughs> so I've been listening to that. My phone ran out of storage while I was decorating my journal, but look at how cute it turned out. Oh my gosh. I'm seriously so in love. I feel like this is going to motivate me a lot more to write in my journal and to be active with it, you know, because it's just so cute. And then I ended up putting a little UW sticker on the back right here because I kind of wanted the front to be like pink themed kind of, you know, and I already did one little page. I did just like a beginning of 2024 stats page and highlighted and added some stickers, made it look all cute and i am just so excited about this i'm gonna try to keep y'all updated on this hopefully i'll stick with it and this won't just be a little phase because i really want to do this i think it'll be so fun i am tired as so i'm gonna take my makeup off and start getting ready for bed don't know again if i'm gonna end this vlog off here or if we're gonna continue tomorrow i guess we'll see but yeah i need to get going to bed